Blessings all and welcome back to the Priestess Prophecies. It is Priestess Melissa and crowning our reading today is the Priestess of the Light Tarot. So we are going to get into our reading and see what the main message is. We'll get some affirmations and some guidance from our ancestors, way showers and guides, as well as using the Master Tarot to give us a little bit more of an insight on what's going on. And the crystal visions to clarify we will also get a couple of lovers oracle cards taking a couple of nice slow deep breaths allow yourself to just relax thank you to our ancestors way showers and guides for joining us here today for this reading we honor you And I honor you for being here. And thank you so much always for your likes, subscribes, shares, comments. Let me know how these readings are influencing you or resonating with you, helping you, all of that. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. So getting into our Priestess of the Light Oracle energies today. We have been in the moon sign of Taurus. We're coming up on the full moon pretty soon here. Which is going to be a pretty powerful one right before we hit the uh, spring equinox all right so we're looking at what kind of energies that we need to be aware of as we're moving into this time frame because we're preparing that soil getting ready to plant those seeds if we haven't already allowing them to germinate and grow wow coming out today is a very powerful card twin flames is this an energy that you're resonating with today? Perhaps you're deciding or working with the twin flame, de deciding on who might be that perfect person for you, if you will. This card is a number 16 card. It's talking about your soul partner and eternal connection. This is that lion, that tiger energy. This is the year for those twin flames that's been said to come together into that union um, in the most powerful ways at this time, in that energy of the tiger, right? We want to ensure that we're choosing that person wisely because this is very important as far as, you know, who we are choosing to engage in this powerful work with. I feel like this is a choice today that we're needing to be aware of or to ensure that we're growing even stronger within our connection. Soul Partner Eternal Connection says, the radiant connections shown on this card reveal a potentially life-changing message for you. The appearance of a twin flame is on the horizon and it's a direction a directive of your karmic destiny that you reunite. All right, so this could be someone from a past, meaning like, you know, lives before this life. Or this could be somebody that you have already met in the past that could be coming back around. And perhaps they've done the work to be able to now stand in this power with you. Many people consider twin flames as a romantic, to be romantic connections, soulmates called back together from previous lives. This could indeed be the case for you. And this card could be announcing the homecoming of an abiding love. But there are many types of soul partners. They can take the form of scientists working together on the same discovery, composer and lyricist, environmentalist with a common cause or any other duo united in the intention to enhance earthly experience of others. So this does not necessarily mean a soul partner. This could mean connecting for the higher good with other people that is going to help the world. This is beautiful energy, especially the tiger energy with this being the year of the tiger and the number six year. So do not be distracted by the similarity in appearance of the souls pictured here. The message is about a perfectly matching resonance that vibrates with mutual recognition and higher purpose. So you're gonna know this person because you're gonna feel 
connected to them, you're going to know that they're on a higher mission as well. That will be evident, not just in what they say, but what they're able to show you in the physical realm. You know what I mean? There's a physical and non-physical aspect when we talk about that twin connection, right? Because the feminine talks about holding that, um, uh, the form, the space, you know, for something to grow. And then the male is like the energy aspect that it, the seed, you know, so the seed and the soil, you know, those go together to allow something to grow. The tiger that stands between these twin flames represents great passion. So this is something that's definitely going to stir your heart. And again, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be something that you didn't finish in the past that was of great benefit and value. That can really be of great benefit and value for you to finish now by connecting with the right people. This may manifest in a physical relationship or represent a project that is compelling to you. Be encouraged for the brilliant beam of light is pure spirit and you are being blessed and guided by divine consciousness. So get ready for a profound relationship, one of twin devotion to each other and to a higher cause. The affirmation for this card says, I am open to finding a deeper purpose in my life and to finding a soul partner who will share my higher intentions. Again, I am open to finding a deeper purpose in my life and to finding a soul partner who will share my higher intentions. One more time. I am open to finding a deeper purpose in my life and to finding a soul partner who will share my higher intentions. By the power of three, a perfect trinity, it is done. So we've got the masculine and feminine aspects, the twin flames, you know, and that tiger spirit the spirit of infinite spirit coming together and allowing this all to come true this year is what I'm feeling again with that tiger spirit. Wow, what a very profound time for us, would you not say? Let us see what is coming out for us today from the tarot. We are going to get a uh, Celtic cross spread to see what is going on with the massive energy, but I am just really feeling like, um, you know, this is going to resonate differently for everybody, but whatever is stirring your heart, it talks all about the tiger. What is it that you perhaps have put off, you know, or something that has been nagging you all your life that you wanted to do and you've never done it, this is the time spirit is saved either for that project or to find that right person to work with. And if it is a better relationship, I feel like that person is about to come into your life. That is definitely what the card's saying here for our Twin Flames card. So let's see what's coming out in the tarot, shall we? Ooh, exciting. Are you guys excited about this twin flame energy? Yeah, put a heart down in the comments and hit the like button if you're resonating with this. Whoa, King of Wands energy. So somebody is definitely in their power, whether this is a male or whether this is a male coming in towards a female. Actually, what I will say is that whether you're a male or a female, that you're basically in a place where you know where you want to go, you know what direction you're headed, you know your energy is in the right place, you have good intentions, you're ruling your kingdom kind of thing. And in the foundation, we're researching, getting more energy. This is the spy card. This is, you know, I mean, when we're talking about twin flame, maybe we got our eye on somebody, you know, in this case, um, our mind is on it anyway. You know what I mean? And our energy is definitely getting more engaged with whatever this is in the past. So if this is about past lives, this could be a King of Cups coming forward perhaps to step into this energy today. What is coming out? Wow, we are definitely in some really good energy here today. I really, um, when I'm looking at this card with the two X's and the one in the middle, it reminds me of this, like they could be the X, right? And this is the one wow, this could be the one kind of thing, perhaps. Perhaps somebody is coming in and it's almost like right away you will know who this person is, perhaps. It'll be like you feel like a child. It'll be like all the burdens that have 
you know, you've experienced, if you will, up to this point, has an opportunity to finally be put behind you. That's really what this energy feels like today. Because there's been so much conflict, it feels like, in your life. And, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom, it's like, you know, you really haven't seen um, your work, you know, come to fruition the way that you want it to. Perhaps who you've been working with, you know, in the realm of money, perhaps, you know, or projects or things of that nature. It just does, it hasn't made you very happy at all, it feels like, you know, and there's been a lot of conflict, power struggles, things of that nature when it comes to past energy, it feels like. So let's get our Crystal Visions cards on this and clarify the situation to see what is going on with this twin flame energy. Very interesting that you see these two kings facing each other. I almost feel like that um, there's a potential for a present person and a past person to in a sense face off not really sure what that's all about necessarily but very interesting let us see what we're going on here. so we're going to get the crystal visions cards on this king of wands went on the ground five of cups in reverse so somebody is definitely, you know, healing after some kind of heartbreak here or has, you know, they understood that you've got to look at the two cups that are still standing up. And these guys, the little angels here are trying to remind her of that, the fairy. They're trying to remind her, don't be so sad about whatever may have happened. Pick yourself back up, you know, and that maybe that's why you're in this king of wands energy. But, you know... Maybe not completely still happy because, you know, who doesn't want to be in a good relationship? But you definitely don't want to be in a situation where things are toxic. And I feel that's what you were putting behind you. You know, this energy where you weren't receiving what you were giving, you know, especially after a while. Maybe it started out good, you know, passionate. But you want something that lasts. Page of Swords. For that card, we got the hanged man. Yeah, you want to make sure that you learn those lessons, you know, that you're not thinking that you're in that type of dynamic 12-12, you know, that you think is balanced, that you think is of a higher nature, but maybe it really isn't. Maybe really you've just got the blindfold on and it's really just this, you know, immature kind of, you know, um, small energy with the page of wands and the page of pentacles, you know, maybe... You're tired of, you know, these situations where there's not a lot that people have to offer to be able to make things happen. And maybe these are the lessons, you know, like you can meet good people, but they're just like not mature enough in certain areas, their energy, for instance, and their money, perhaps, perhaps, you know, you're looking for something that's going to offer you that ability to really grow into that king energy or even higher, you know, right? King of Cups energy for the past. What is this? So, in the past, we have Nine of Swords in reverse and Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, I'm almost seeing this as potentially like the past person energy and maybe something that they did in the past and why this wasn't resolved is because this person, you know, was put in a position to where, you know, they didn't know what to think and their worth, their value, you know, their money perhaps even with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Swords in reverse is saying that this person could have caused a lot of, um, for this woman, you know, to have to suffer because of not being able to have that stability that she should have had. And then unhappiness and not being able to really go within and do that healing and things of that nature. Maybe this past person, you know, this past life person has learned these lessons and now wants to come back and offer the sun energy and really heal things and allow not only that, but for, you know, higher things. Nine of Cups, we're talking about, you know, like wishes, wish fulfillment on all levels. Like we can really make big things happen in the world, right? And this is what I feel, you know, was the potential perhaps in the past with this twin flame or with this project but you're not willing to walk away from all of your happiness from everything that you have wanted you know so however that manifests you want to make sure that that happens with the right person right where you feel like a child you feel happy and you don't have to feel 
you know, concerned maybe that somebody's going to walk away, that they're going to be there for you, right? And not leave you in this place where you're needing to heal all over again and regroup, right? This is a time we need to be able to help the planet. Ten of Wands, the burdens and those going away, putting them up behind us. What is this energy and what do the cards have to say? Ten of Cups. Wow. So this person that's coming in is definitely going to put all the burdens behind. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. So everything that you've experienced in the past that maybe you feel like everybody is, you know, just taken from you and not given fairly and things of that nature. Three of Wands, you're finally going to be able to work with people that you know are going to be foundational. You know, that wand, it's like... <coughs> It's like they're one of the foundational pillars, if you will, within all that you're building. And you can really see all of the, you know, potential that can come of it. You're seeing that path. If you take that path, that it could be wonderful with that Ten of Cups energy and being able to put all the burdens behind us. Yes, because we don't want to deal with somebody in this energy this energy is an energy of someone who is out there messing around with people, you know what I mean? And they put us in this energy where we feel like we have to go out again, but we don't want to go out in an energy, you know, where we're being promiscuous and we're not really valuing ourselves because perhaps someone else didn't value us, you know, and really put in the work that they needed to. It's better, you know, to find that person or find that project or you know, that thing in life that really does bring you the passion and doesn't make you feel like you have to constantly defend yourself, you know, especially against your partner, you know, why should you feel that way? No, nope. we're done, you know, feeling in this energy where we're not receiving, again, that balanced and reciprocal back and forth, you know, good kind of love. That is not what we are into at all. Am I right? So if you're healing perhaps right now and you're ready to move on into the sun energy, put a little heart down in the comments and hit that like button. Thank you for subscribing. All right, let's get an affirmation card out today for all of this. And they did have an affirmation card in the twin flame card too, but we're going to get one more out. This one is nature. So it's saying, it's time to unleash your inner hippie and step outside of that man-made box. So you've basically been inside for too long. Maybe, you know, thinking about things too much, working on, you know, your energy, getting projects going. But we always have to take those breaks too. So perhaps go for a walk. It says take a walk in the woods, smell those flowers, hug some trees. You might think you're being ironic, like look at me, I'm all tree huggery and stuff. But you will find that even those trees will hug you back. Trees come from a time before irony and they're earnestness is impervious to our jaded humor. If that doesn't make you want to hug, hug him even more, well, I guess you're just a robot. What this is saying basically is that we can transmute all of those negative energies, you know, get into a much better feeling place simply just by changing up where our environment, you know, like if you've been inside a lot, go outside, go out with a friend to lunch or, you know, just do something different break things up but going out for a walk is definitely a great thing to do and again trees are way past irony you know they uh they've heard it all basically is what they're basically trying to say so you know um all of these things that have happened in our lives past present and future they've all happened you know before in different ways different scenarios and you know really now it's about which path do we want to take you know do we want to move forward in positive ways and maybe let go of the past? You never know. I mean, maybe the past coming back isn't always necessarily a good thing. You're going to be the best one to judge that, but you will know it and you will feel good when it is something that truly stirs your heart. Transformation card today says your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love, 
conquers and transforms all things. So that is very positive confirmation if that's what you were looking for today, especially if this is someone maybe that you had a very strong connection with in the past, right? And maybe you've been thinking a lot about them and things like that. It says emotions are a natural, and we were talking about nature, right? A necessary part of life. And she's outside looking at herself in the water there and whatnot. And it says, but they can also distort your perceptions and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment, all right? So things that haven't worked out, it's okay. Allow yourself to get focused on something that's really going to transform your energy and your heart today, all right? Blessings and thank you so much once again for joining me. I'll see you again soon for another reading. Bye-bye for now.